The battle I will be talking about is the Siege of Dunkirk. In 1940, on the 9th of May, the Germans went down to Dunkirk to attack the British force, which I will now call the BFE, the French and the Belgian forces. This went from 1944 to 1945. German forces attacked the Low Countries. After that, the Germans were winning extremely. They had the French, British, and Belgian forces on the run and corner. Instead of Hitler listening to his generals, he stopped his forces from advancing. This was Hitler's worst decision yet. All the forces at Winston Churchill, which were all the Allies, ordered things to prepare for the evacuation. This additional time allowed more Allied forces to make it home safely. This is known as the Miracle at Dunkirk. During this time, lots of kids grew up without any fathers for a long period of time. After it was over, 40,000 French prisoners were taken later to take the city under their control. The British came home with very little supplies. They had left enough equipment behind to equip about 8 to 10 divisions. Exactly, the French left behind 880 field guns, 310 guns of large caliber, some 580 craft guns, about 850 anti-tank guns, 11,000 machine guns, nearly 700 tanks, 20,000 motorcycles, and 45,000 motor cars and lorries. There were many players of this event. The British player or leader would have been Lord Gart. There were three main players that were French during this battle, and that would be Maxim Weygard, George Blanchard, and René Priest. The main German leaders were Gerd von Rundgren, and Edwald von Kleist. These were the main players of the battle. During this battle, there were many casualties and losses. On the Allied side, 11,000 dead and 40,000 captured. On the German side, there were 20,000 to 30,000 dead and wounded. 